and in Hong Kong, it is buckling under a massive COVID wave, which has led to more than 250,000 infections and hundreds of deaths in two months. On Thursday, Taiwan's top epidemic authority described the situation as surprising and said that Taiwan must stay alert to avoid the same fate. Let's hear from him. This comes as something of a surprise to us and perhaps even as a shock. If we are not vigilant or if we are negligent, it would certainly be possible for such a large outbreak to strike Taiwan. In Hong Kong and South Korea, the situations are such that authorities will be able to lift lockdown restrictions very quickly, because most of the population has already been infected. But we want to avoid this sort of abruptness. We hope to stretch out the time period to ease our restrictions more slowly. The CECC reported five local cases on Thursday, one in New Taipei, two in Taoyuan, and two in Zhanghua. The Zhanghua cases are the first in 193 days, and they are connected to a preschool cluster that originated in Taoyuan. For days now, Taiwan has had only sporadic cases, nearly all of which were detected in isolation.